In this video for Math 98, we will be looking at problems from section 14.3 and 14.5. This covers the material on homework number 9, problems 1 through 10. You might remember from the last couple of videos that we've been talking about systems of equations. In Math 93, you talked about systems of linear equations. In this class, we looked at systems of nonlinear equations, and we always, however, have had two variables. Now we're going to look at systems of equations with three variables. And they have the same techniques of solution as we did with two variables, substitution and elimination. However, it is a bit more complicated. Here's an example. Solve by substitution this system of three equations with three variables. Notice the variables here are a, b, and c, and I have three equations. I'll call them equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. To solve by substitution, we are going to do the same technique that we used with two equations and two variables. We're going to take one of the equations and solve for one of the variables. Which of these equations would be easiest to use? I claim equation 3 because it only has two variables, like equation 2. However, these variables have coefficient of 1. So it would, for example, be very easy to take equation 3 and solve for a by subtracting b from both sides. I end up with a equals 1 minus b. Now, I am going to substitute this value for a into equation 2 and to equation 1. So equation 1 becomes 4a plus 3b plus 4c equals 1. That's 4 times 1 minus b plus 3b plus 4c equals 1. That's 4 minus 4b plus 3b plus 4c equals 1. Continuing our process, this ends up to be minus 4b plus 3b, which is uh, minus 1b. Okay, we'll just write that. Um, and 4c, then I'm going to subtract the 4 from each side. And that gives me minus 3. So I'm going to call this equation 4 right here. And using this value for a in equation 2, I had originally equation 2 is 3a plus 4c equals 12. So that's 3 times 1 minus b plus 4c equals 12. That's 3 minus 3b plus 4c equals 12. This ends up as minus 3b plus 4c. If I subtract 3 from each side, I get 9. And I'm going to call this equation 5. Now notice I have two equations now with two variables. So I'm going to write them on top of each other. And I have this situation here. It is pretty easy to solve these by either substitution or elimination. Since we're talking about substitution, I'm going to take this top equation and solve for b. So that's minus b equals minus 4c minus 3. By subtracting 4c from each side, now divide everything by negative 1, and you get this. Now I'd like to replace this into this equation. So instead of minus 3b, I'm going to have minus 3 4c plus 3 plus 4c equals 9. That gives you minus 12c minus 9 plus 4c equals 9. Minus 12c plus 4c is minus 8c. Add 9 to each side, I get 18. This gives you c equals minus 18 over 8. That can be simplified to minus 9 over 4. Wow. That, however, was just C. What about B? Well, B, I can use this equation by back substituting, replacing this for C in there. So B equals 4 times C, which is minus 9 fourths, plus 3. That's B equals minus 9 plus 3 which is minus 6. And finally, what about A? Well, A 
you remember we had this equation right here equals 1 minus b so a equals 1 minus b which is 1 minus negative 6 which is going to give me 7 so this equation has the solution 7 minus 6 minus 9 quarters how do you know what order to put these in it is traditional to put these in alphabetical order and unless you're told otherwise that is how you should list these now notice this is not an ordered pair but an ordered triple there are three variables here this is my solution for that equation now let's look at another example by substitution you might want to try this on your own and then restart the video when you're ready okay again I'm going to count this as one two and three and I'm going to take one of these equations and solve for one of the variables I'm going to take the bottom equation and solve for z that seems pretty easy subtracting 10 from each side I get this now I'm going to substitute this in here and in here that gives me 2x plus 3y minus z which is minus 2y minus 10 equals 13 okay that will give you 2x plus 3y minus 2y plus 10 equals 13 2x plus 3y minus 2y is 2x plus y subtracting 10 from each side I get 3 and that is equation 4 for plugging this into this one I'll have 3x plus y plus 2 times z and z being 2y minus 10 equals 9 that gives you 3x plus y plus 4y minus 20 equals 9 so 3x plus 5y equals 29 that I'll call equation 5 and I'll put these two together 2x plus y equals 3 and 3x plus 5y equals 29 once again I have a system of equations two equations with two unknowns now you can solve this any way you want and since we uh, did the last one by substitution I think I'll use the elimination method here by multiplying the top one by negative 5 that gives me negative 10 minus 5y equals negative 15 and 3x plus 5y equals 29 add these get minus 7x 0 what is this 14 so x equals minus 2 if x equals minus 2 we can use one of these equations to solve us for y so let's use the equation 2x plus y equals 3 so this gives you 2 times negative 2 plus y equals 3 that's negative 4 plus y equals 3 so y equals 7 now I have x equals minus 2 and y equals 7 what about z by far the easiest equation to use to solve for z would be this one z equals 2y minus 10 so z equals 2 times 7 minus 10 which gives me 4 so my solution is x equals negative 2 y equals 7 z equals 4 well is there an elimination method in three equations with three unknowns the answer is yes and the idea is to do the same thing I have these three equations and I'm going to multiply them by something if necessary and add them to eliminate one of the variables the key here is to take one and combine it with two and one and combine it with three or two and combine it with three and two and combine it with one so you need to do two different equations now if I look at these I'll notice that if I take equation one and equation two and I just add them let me just write these right above each other so you can see that if I just add equation one and equation two I end up with 2x no y no z equals 9 I was really lucky in this case and I have a solution for x x equals 9 halves now if I take equation 2 and equation 3 and I add them
If I add these up, the x's and the y's disappear, and I get 2z equals 11, so z equals 11 halves. Now to find y, just replace x and z in one of these equations. I'm going to use equation 1, x being 9 halves, y being 11 halves. 9 halves minus 11 halves is minus 2 halves or minus 1, so y equals 7. So my final solution is 9 halves, 7, 11 halves. Now, this elimination example was a little special. I didn't have to do a whole lot. Let's look at one that is a little bit more difficult, solving this one by elimination. So here's 1, 2, and 3 equations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 and add it to equation 2. If I add these, the a's disappear just by natural way this was set up, and I get the equation 2b plus c equals 29. This I'm going to call equation 4. Now, I'm going to use equations 1 and 3, or equations 2 and 3, and I'm going to combine them in some way to eliminate the same variable that I eliminated here. What variable did I eliminate? I eliminated the variable a. If I combine 1 and 3, I could possibly do that. I could also do it with 2 and 3. But since 2 has a negative sign and 3 has a positive sign, I'm going to take 2 times equation 2, and I'm going to add it to equation 3. Okay? So 2 times equation 2 looks like this, which gives me minus 2a plus 2b equals 18. And this is 2a minus b plus c equals 0. If I add these, the 2a's go away. I get 2b minus b, or b plus c, equals 18, and I'm going to call this equation 5. So here's equation 4, and here's equation 5. Let's write them on top of each other. You may use substitution or elimination. Since we've been talking about elimination, I'm going to use that. I'm going to multiply the bottom one by negative 1. The top one remains the same. If I add these together, I end up with b equals 29 minus 18. What is 29 minus 18? 29 minus 18 is 11, so b is 11. And since b plus c equals 18 was one of my equations, 11 plus c equals 18, so c is 18 minus 11, or c is 7. If b is 7, I mean c is 7 and b is 11, a we could go all the way back up here. A plus B plus C equals 20. So A plus 11 plus 7 equals 20. 11 and 7 is 18. So A equals 20 minus 18 or 2. Again, let's put these in alphabetical order. 2, 11, 7. Okay, so that is the solution to this equation. So you can see you can use elimination or substitution to do these problems. One other thing you might consider is not all equations have answers. You might remember systems of equations didn't have answers all the time in Math 93. The same is true here. So, not all systems have a unique solution. I'm going to use this problem to show you how that works out. So. I'm just going to use elimination this time, and I'm going to eliminate the variable a. So I'm going to take 1 minus 3 is my first one. So a plus 2b plus 3c equals 2. Minus 3 is the same as changing all the signs of this and adding. If I do that, I get b plus 2c equals 1. There's my equation 4. Now I'm going to take 1, and I'm going to multiply it by negative 6 times equation 1. I'll write that out, negative 6 times equation 1, and I'm going to add that to equation 2. Negative 6 times equation 1 
and add that to equation 2. So negative 6 times equation 1 is negative 6a minus 12b minus 18c equals negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. I'm going to add that to equation 2. Add these up. Negative 12 plus 7 is minus 5b. 18 plus 8 is minus 10c. And this is minus 9. So I'll call that equation 5. I'm going to put these on top of each other. And let's keep using elimination. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 5 so that I have opposite coefficients here. 5b plus 10c equals 5. That's what I get. Now, add these two together. That will give me nothing. This will give me nothing. And this will give me negative 4. So my final answer is 0 equals negative 4. What? That's not possible. So as you can see, since this is a contradiction, this is not possible. There is no solution here. So this is possible to happen just like it was with systems of equations, with two equations and two unknowns.